So I'm going to show you the difference between mind reading and magic. I've got a deck of cards here that I've collected whilst doing magic. They're all different, they've all got different faces, and they've all got different backs, okay? Now my assistant here, she's going to help. Always do, is always say stop for me whenever you're ready. Stop. There, perfect. Have a look at that card. Got it? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now, I want you to think, is it a red card or a black card? Got it in your mind? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Is it black? Yeah. Okay, that's a good start. Now, what I want you to do is, obviously, there's two suits. There's a spade and there's a clubs. Got it? Think of those? Yeah. Okay, is it a club? Yeah. Okay, good start. Have a good start. Now, there's one more. I want you to think if it's a low card or a high card. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it a high card? Yeah. Okay, is it nine of clubs? Yeah. Okay, that's a good start. Fantastic. Now, that's how Jishu's mind reads. Now, I'm going to show you the magic part. Could I hold your hand open for me? So, we're going to use the top card. Uh, which is the ten of spades. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ten of spades and place it inside of your hand. Now, do you have a good imagination? Yeah. You do. Perfect. So I want to imagine that the colours on this card are fading. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want to completely imagine that they completely fade until they completely go. Okay. But sometimes, if you do let your imagination go too far, all the cards can actually go blank on both sides. 